Welcome everyone to the Derbzilla channel. And for today, I'm taking a look at some super cool accessories for my Steam Deck limited edition OLED, which has the semi-transparent shell. Now the accessories specifically I'm looking at today are by Mechanism, and they do have a special edition for the limited edition Steam Deck of their Deckmate platform. This is a very lightweight platform that allows uh, much versatility on attachments kickstands and other cool features. So go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and take a closer look, get this thing installed and see how it stacks up. Here we have the Mechanism Deckmate Essential Kit. Comes in this nice little uh, box. Click, go, play, which is pretty much the theme of the Deckmate platform. Now inside of your Essential Kit, you get the heart and soul of the deck mate, which is the actual mounting bracket itself. This mounts to the Steam Deck and is uh, non-invasive. So you're not gonna do any damage, it just snaps on. If you don't want any more, you can actually unclip it and it leaves no marks or any kind of damage. You don't have to screw this in or anything crazy like that. Super cool. And then with uh, your bundle, depending on which bundle you get, uh, Essential Kit is uh, $39, I believe. And you get three accessories. And if you pick up the full kit, you get a couple more accessories. Now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at the essential kit this time. And uh, as mentioned, it's about $39, full kit's $49, but often they have sales, buy one, get one, and stuff like that. So if you can catch it on a sale, even better. Now, uh, this is the limited edition OLED uh, variation of the Deckmate. Prices uh, may be slightly different, I'm not sure. I don't believe this is actually on their site yet. It might be on there by the time this video posts, it might not, but uh, their normal kit, uh, and Deckmate platforms are just a solid black. And the cool thing about this one, if you have the limited edition Steam Deck OLED, as you notice the Deckmate itself is semi-transparent uh, plastic. Very durable, it's flexible, but not super flexible. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break very easy unless you're just getting crazy with it. So I feel like this should last just as long as your Steam Deck. And you can see the Steam Deck and the Deckmate are very close in their presentation. Now, of course, if you get uh, the normal version of the Deckmate and you have a normal Steam Deck, this will be black and it'll match your normal Steam Deck. Now, this is uh, the Deckmate bracket itself. This mounts to your Steam Deck very simply. You're just gonna go ahead and it just hooks around and then it just snaps into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mount this, show you guys what I'm talking about. Look at that, <laughs> that easy. And then now, the cool thing about this is this is the attachment point for their accessories, such as a kickstand. It actually is spring-loaded kickstand. We'll actually click in here, and then you can actually click it out. Boom, it's fully attached or detached. Another thing you can do is you actually can take a USB-C uh, you know, mount or a battery pack, attach one of these accessories in this baggie right here, which I'll show you in a second, and then you can then attach that to the back of your Steam Deck and have hands on your grip, playing your games, and it's freely freely attached and stable, not gonna fall off, not tied on rubber bands or duct tape or whatever. You're not soldering or welding it onto the back of your Steam Deck like some of the crazy things I've seen. And another cool feature is, I don't know if you notice this, but there's two slots built into the Deckmate frame right here for your micro SD cards. You can slide those in right here and here, hold two additional micro SD cards right on the frame in addition to whatever you happen to attach to the back of your Steam Deck, which is very cool. As you can notice, now that it's attached, it blends in perfectly, especially with this limited edition version. Now, we'll go ahead and take a look at the accessories you get with your Essential Kit. You have your kickstand, also semi-transparent. And then we have a couple more baggies here. You have one extra thing, two extra things. All right. The first one here I want to show you, this actually can be peeled off and it's sticky on one side. And you can mount this to your hub or your battery pack, cell phone. I mean, if you're crazy, you can actually pull that sticky thing here. You can attach it back to your cell phone and then that would actually snap in and now it will be fully attached to your device, USB hub, battery pack. Probably most, most common will be a hub, battery pack, or you can buy additional ones and actually have multiple devices that you hot swap onto your deckmate, which is super cool, convenient. Now, another thing you get in that essential kit is it looks, if you notice here, it's the same type of mount that's on the deckmate uh, frame. 
You can actually use this to attach to a, you know, a surface that you want to lock your Steam Deck into place, be it on your desk somewhere underneath your desk, um, under your case, if you have a big carrying case of some sort, and then when you're done playing your Steam Deck, you're done gaming, you snap it into place and it's gonna be nice and solid attached to wherever you left it. It's not gonna fly off your desk. Uh, your kids aren't gonna run off with it. Uh, the dog's not gonna eat it, hopefully. And, uh, and, and so, you know, that's definitely a nice bonus. You can buy more of these as well. Um, I believe they're only a few dollars, so not too bad. Now, to show you how this actual mechanism works, I'll show you with the kickstand. So just make sure you have, you know, your, your, your Steam Deck oriented the right way. So if you want it to be, of course, uh, situated like you would actually be gaming or viewing your thing, it has a spring loaded mechanism and you just kind of have to push it into place and then try not to fold it over, but you want to then push that spring mechanism and look at that. She's on, snapped, locked into place. The spring mechanism is holding it and if you want to release it, you just push, push the mechanism and then you pull it up. If you want to attach it, it's now attached. Super easy, very, very nice, fast acting mechanism. No, no magnets, no possibility of any kind of interruption with your fans like the kill switch had on the first variation of the kill switch uh, Steam Deck case. Now you have your kickstand, locks into place, you can do your gaming, holds it upright, it's not just flopping over, and it's very good attachment point. I mean, it's not gonna come loose unless you, you know, apply that unlocking uh, twist, and you know, you're good to go. And as mentioned, you take your battery pack, hub or whatever, you snap it into place back here, and uh, you know, it's a perfect, execution of a very small, lightweight form factor uh, attachment setup. I really like how this is. Now, if you have a case or anything like that, of course, this is not going to work with a case. It's unfortunate because, um, you know, I typically run a kill switch case. This won't work with that. But, you know, if I'm looking for something lightweight, I want to be able to stick this in a small backpack where I don't have room to bear a big case. Or if I want to keep this inside of my valve steam deck zipper case this actually can fit inside the zipper case the kill switch does not really fit inside of the zipper case so this would be good for traveling and whatnot or you know if you're going to be on an airline you can actually you know get this little wherever i put it here and i mean really if you have a couple of extra ones you could stick this on the back back of the seat in front of you on airline snap this thing into place and have it hanging on the back seat and uh you know watch movies on it or whatever so pretty cool now for comparison on bulk of course, here is the kill switch. You notice significantly larger, big old freaking kickstand. And I mean, you're gonna save a lot of room, a lot of weight. This thing is significantly heavy. The kill switch case is very heavy. This thing, I mean, it weighs, you don't even notice the weight difference on adding this, even with the kickstand on there. Um, and of course, kill switch does offer a way to attach uh, other pieces and you know you can attach a hub and whatnot similar to what they have with the deckmate but as mentioned this is significantly more bulky and the mechanism isn't nearly as uh i guess you could say innovative <laughs> you know this is just a twist lock this is a spring lock and you know it's really personal you know personal personal choice on you know do you prefer maybe more protection heavier probably double the weight or you know lightweight streamlined all matching um so yeah very cool we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this one up hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna go ahead and step off of the workbench and we'll finish this one up there we have it the mechanism deck mate for the steam deck limited edition oled and overall super happy with how this thing uh functions the quality of the product itself is really top tier no issues, no weird jagged edges. Everything is precisely uh, molded and cut. And it, I mean, this isn't something that you would produce on a $50, $100, 3D printer. This is a top tier product. And the versatility of this attachment system is, I mean, boom. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of harder to do it upside down, but I mean, it's that easy. It takes less than a second. You could slap on a battery pack, a USB-C hub, you can slap on who knows what else, a dang full-size monitor, something crazy. But I mean, it just really makes uh, adding att attachments and accessories to your Steam Deck 
much better than some of those crazy ones I see, especially in the Steam Deck Facebook groups and stuff like that. They got people chopping open things like rubber band, duct tape, uh, who knows what else. And uh, you know, this is really an intricate uh, solution that really just expands the versatility of the Steam Deck. I mean, really, Steam Deck, you know, Valve should have something like this on the back of the shell out the box. I mean, this is something that should come out the box with the Steam Deck, doesn't. So we got these cool solutions like this. It's the bulk on this thing is it's almost nothing. Uh, of course, when you add something to the back on top of the deck mate, it's gonna add some bulk, but the uh, deck mate itself adds almost zero, <laughs> zero weight or extra bulk on the Steam Deck. I mean, it's really a no brainer. This thing is awesome. Only negative, there's no extra protection. It's not a case. So if you're expecting extra, you know, protection like a case, it's not, it doesn't offer it. And the other negative, it doesn't work with a case, at least with the kill switch and probably most other cases, anything that adds any kind of thickness here, these arms aren't gonna be able to clamp onto it. So that's a negative. Um, so you're stuck with your shell of your Steam Deck, no extra protection. It's hit and miss. If you have to, if you, if you got fat fingers, you drop the Steam Deck all the time, you probably you might not wanna go with this. You might need a case, like the kill switch or something else. Uh, for me, I usually run a case, but hey, if I'm just chilling at home, this work fine, I can hot swap battery, lay on the couch, get 10 hours more extra game time, and uh, be, good, be good to go. And I love how you can actually then mount this on the wall, on your desk with the accessory. And the prices are very convenient. If you hang out for a sale, buy one, get one, then it's even better of a deal for what you get. $10 more, you get the full kit, $39 for the essential kit. It's really, I mean, the full kit's a pretty good deal because you get a decent amount of extra accessories that probably cost more than $10, which is the difference in price. So you may want to go for that. And uh, yeah, overall, super pleased. Two thumbs up, only have one thumb available, otherwise I'll drop my Steam Deck. And I really love how this thing looks. And uh, yeah, check it out. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, also, if you like the shirt, I have a bunch of new merchandise on my website, zilla.com. That's Z1LLA.com slash shop. Have a bunch of cool merchandise. Got my WTF shirt, Texas style, right here. And uh, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And uh, let me know what you think about this. Do you think this will work out for you? Or uh, is this something that you think might not hold up? But I mean, I'm in my garage. I'm holding my Steam Deck over a cement floor. I got some trust. It didn't fall. And uh, if it did, I didn't edit it. So no, it's still safe. It's not shattered. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is great. It'll work for pretty much not pretty much anybody who needs something cool like that. So as mentioned, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Let me know if you guys are thinking about something like this or if you found something similar that you think may be better or worse in comparison to this. Or are you a fan of the kill switch? Check out those videos uh, up in the corner. I have my kill switch videos, my skin install videos. If you notice, I do have a skin installed on my Steam Deck. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.